What's going on, Jello family? In this video, I purchased the Model S refresh so you don't have to. Enjoy. All right, guys, so here's the car. I'm gonna show you the car in all its glory. Here's some raw footage of the car. I wanna kind of go over the first thing that I've probably noticed after a few months. One, we have this strip over here that's actually inside the car. It's starting to come out and it just sticks out. I don't know if Tesla may need to glue it back in, but that's starting to stick out. Also, two, the front bumper, a few months now, we do have some issues with it. Because the Model S is so low, I have this portion over here that's got like just scratched from just driving, parking. Um, you know how like whenever you park, there's some like, it's just kind of low sometimes. And I've had that scratched out as well. And then there are tons of scratches down here too, just cause of the car being so low. So that's one of the issues about having a Model S. It is a low car. Um, you have an adaptive air suspension that keeps it in medium, but um, sometimes I notice the car is just low um, for sure. So also a lot of chips here from like basically paint coming off, but this is a uh, wrap actually. That's why it looks like a little different color than the ultra red. Um, I cause it's a the ultra red, but we do have some paint chipping or chipping from the wrap there. So that is kind of interesting. Another regards to the exterior of the car, you do have a lot of curb rash. Yes, curb rash all over the wheels. This is because the car itself is um, very low to the ground, so you're more likely to hit um, just curbs as you're parking, whatever it may be, and that's kind of normal, but unfortunate. So here is the exterior of the car. The side body has held up rather well, which I do enjoy. It kind of opens for you. And then we have more curb rash over here on the car itself. As well as, if you look at this uh, wrap, the wrap is starting to kind of come off now, right? Um, which is unfortunate about wrapping your car just through the car being parked outside, you know, normal wear and tear. Overall, they did a great job on the wrap, but it does start to peel all throughout the car. So take a look here too. Um, the back held up pretty well. This tint, all black. Held up really well as well. Uh, hasn't had any problems. Back of the car held up pretty well. We have some more curb rash over here on the side. And I'm like, I just wanna show you guys the car in its kind of like raw authentic form. So here's some more curb rash just from driving the car, which is kind of unfortunate. Fun fact, maybe not so fun. Tesla is fascinating in a sense that most of its battery um, is kind of on the right side of the car. So I'll go back to the right side of the car. And this is kind of what happened with me is that this car battery was so heavy that this right tire popped on my way uh, on a road trip. So I was driving, the car battery was so heavy that the interior chamber of the car caused the tire to pop. And when I had people come out to come fix the tire, replace the tire, they said, hey, this happens to a lot of Teslas where the battery is so heavy on this side of the car that the tire will pop sometimes and it was a very expensive trip for me. So I was just driving on a road trip, turning out to be like a thousand dollar repair, had to wait. It was just so unfortunate, but basically that's some of the issues Tesla needs to really fix with the weight of their battery. So that's the exterior of the car, held up pretty well, just normal nooks and crannies, some normal wear and tear on the car. And Here's how it looks. Pretty cool. Really love the ultra red color, especially in the sunlight. So I wanna show you guys now the interior of the car. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. This is one fun fact I added to. I had this cool little uh, carbon fiber um, kind of piece here. It's not real, it's like a plastic, but it looks carbon fiber. Okay, so here's the interior of the car. Very dirty. <laughs> but it's just more fun showing it to you guys kind of in its authentic form. So, interior of the car, um, you have this very, very large screen, which I do enjoy. It's been very nice to drive, and it's just been uh, kind of, whenever you're supercharging, it's nice to watch Netflix and um, Hulu, whatever you want to on the screen. It's really big compared to 3 and the Y. I replaced this steering wheel with the, um, this used to be yoke, actually. And because I didn't enjoy the yoke, I decided to replace it 
with this steering wheel over here. I do enjoy the steering wheel a lot more, especially when I'm driving the car um, with full self-driving, which I have downloaded. Thanks to you guys for using my referral code. I have three months of full self-driving now because of you guys, so appreciate you guys. So one of the big factors of having a round steering wheel is especially doing full self-driving. Full self-driving, it's really easy to control the wheel, especially as you're doing U-turns, especially the cars turning left, right. You wanna have this basically steering wheel because when you have a yoke, the yoke is turning into a giant square. And if you have a giant square turning, it's actually really scary. And it's hard to control because of just the curvature of the yoke is just a giant square and it's hard to grab. So keep that in mind. Um, the front here, you can see everything here, which is really nice. Um, also too, one of the kind of issues I faced is that when I purchased the car used, it came with a, uh, a little hole there, right? So it looks like the windshield had cracked. They filled it in, which I'm not a big fan, but what can you do? Okay, wireless charging port. That's the one thing I noticed about the wireless charging port. It does get really dirty. So a lot of kind of like residue or um, kind of fuzz, whatever it may be, will tend to get st like stuck over there. So the car definitely needs to be cleaned in interior wise. So I'll probably do that this week. Um, and yeah, that's the uh, unfortunate thing about their car. With regards to the interior, a lot of trash here for sure. So a lot of trash, um, but overall it's held up pretty well. The seats are kind of like these performance seats. So they feel like a sports car, which I really enjoy. Most small, the Model 3 uh, performance Model 3 Lucas when it does come out, it's gonna have similar seats, which is very cool. So I do like that. The back, back held up pretty well. No one really sits back here. So it hasn't had any issues whatsoever, but overall it looks really nice. And then I'll show you guys basically what it's like sitting in the back. So let's jump into the back. Open it here. As I come into the back, oh, keep in mind the seat is fully back here and it is kind of tight, right? So if you guys are interested in having like a Model S as a daily driver and you have people sitting in the back, it is kind of tight here. The most um, room I've had for it to be just kind of back seat, driver people in the back seat has been the Cybertruck, has been the most comfortable in the back seat, but overall pretty solid. Here is the infotainment system over here. The infotainment system held up pretty well. I don't really have people watching anything back here, but I guess if you have kids, um, they can basically come back here, watch whatever they want to watch, which is pretty cool. Um, and then just kind of enjoy that from their perspective. So that is kind of like the, the back seat. The back seat is held up pretty well. And the reason people like buy this car is because the exterior is pretty the same. However, the interior is the big refresh, right? So you have this new um, infotainment system, which is now on Model 3s, as well as the Cybertruck. You have a larger screen up here. That's the reason people like that as well. And interior looks different. You can honestly tell too through the outside, like everything's blacked out with the chrome. So that's another big reason people buy the car. And then you have these new updated seats with um, just new door handles, all wood exterior or interior. And then you have basically um, pretty much the same if you if you have an older Model S, you don't really see any difference except for the, for the um, interior. However, the outside does look really nice. I do enjoy the all chrome. Uh, removed and all blacked out look which is really cool so i want to go jump now into the front seat and then just talk to you guys about the driving experience of the car all right guys so i'm gonna go over the driving experience having the model s long range so the car battery is like probably one of the biggest reasons i got the car uh for me i was driving a lot in california basically i had a model y performance and a model 3 performance right Model 3 performance was giving me a charge of about 315, went down to 306, and I sold that for a Model Y performance, and then the estimate range was around 303, honestly it went down to like 290 after about a year, and then having a battery at 290, you really only get like 70% state of charge, which is essentially only like 2 20 or something crazy not that bunch and i was charging a lot because i was road tripping a ton getting to class uh, getting to work and just a lot of driving 
So I wanted to upgrade the car um, and I got a Model S long range. Got the refresh. So hence is the reason that I made this video for you guys, right? The refresh, when I picked it up, it had the racked wheels, had a yoke steering wheel and about 370 um, miles of range. So as you can see, that's a ton more increase, right? I almost switched actually the wheels out to the um, to the actual smaller wheels and then to get that 405 miles of range, but I kept the racking wheels because I liked, really like how it looks. And it's been a godsend to be honest with you because I drive so much, I don't have to charge the car as much, right? I'm gonna get to and from wherever I'm trying to go and I actually really enjoy that. Uh, keep in mind, I'm driving from like the southernmost part of California all the way up to Los Angeles, all the way up to the Bay Area and having to charge like one charge less, one supercharger less has been amazing. Also, I don't have charging at home, so I supercharge a ton, and I don't have to go to the supercharger as much because the battery is so much bigger. So that's one of the good perks about having a car with a larger battery. With regards to the driving, driving has been fun, right? I really enjoy um, just kind of like the acceleration of the car. Um, even though it's a long range, you still get 3.10, 60 seconds, uh, which is almost as fast as applied, which is up to like 2.5, right? So you still have great driving experience. The only thing about driving this car is that a car is really big. So because the car is really big, you're going to have like, it not be as nimble to drive compared to a Model 3. The Model 3 was really easy to drive because it was so small and nimble. It's very zippy, right? This car, Model S long range, felt like it was just going fast. It just, it was just straight. It just, it was such a big car that um, when you go, it just wants to go straight, right? And it's harder to, I guess, maneuver, park, especially because the car is so much bigger. The Model 3 was super easy to park. You just see a lot of Model 3s everywhere. It just gets the job done. And if you want a Tesla, just a star Tesla, I really recommend a used Model 3 for like $30,000, $20,000. You'll love it, right? You don't need the Model S. You don't need the Model S at whatsoever. But if you're a Tesla fan, you really like the look of the car, and you want kind of like their premium car, get the Model S, right? But essentially, Model S long range is great for road trips. It's easy to drive, um, especially if you just use autopilot, you just sit there, it feels nice. The seats aren't as comfortable because it's kind of like, it feels, it's like this performance type of seat. The Model 3 is like, it feels like kind of marshmallow seats. Like it's just super soft, super comfy. So you can sit there for a long time in your Model 3 compared to your Model S. So I want you guys to just keep that in mind when you're selecting what car to buy. Model S refresh is basically like i said in the video before or in in this video it's that the interior is why people get it right they want the updated screen they want the blacked out chrome no no chrome look and they want the um they want everything to kind of be more succinct so that car this car has been a lot more fun for me to drive it's definitely the best looking car i've had um and it is a, a fun car. However, this car has given me the most problems. The most time I've brought it to the service center, right? I've had the door handle break. I've had the car um, tire pop uh, through driving because the chamber, the battery chamber is just so heavy on the right side. Uh, what else have I had? Um, the, the charge ports in the back now no longer work. So I gotta take that in now as well. And then because this car is so uh, aesthetically looking per se, uh, it gets a lot of attention. So. Uh, keep in mind, uh, people were always like looking at your car and some people take pictures of it, maybe scratch your car. Um, and then the car is so low. So it's because it's so low, it's it's hard. It's easy to scratch uh, whenever you're driving. Um, clearance isn't the best as well on this, right? For the Model Y, never had any clearance issues because the car was so big. But say that you get what you get. But yeah. So overall, what would I give this car driving it for almost for these few months, almost a year now? I give it an 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 because, one, I love the aesthetics of the car. I love the amazing battery. I love how it's uh, the interior is beautiful. I had to have software that was updating. The reason I don't give it a full 10 is because, like I said before, right, I've had issues with the tire popping. There are things that break in the car, like the door handle that opens and closes. That will break from time to time. And I've just taken the service center too many times. and just kind of gets in the wing, right? And I just think you get more bang for your buck with like a Model 3 long range if you just want to start an EV. Buy one for 30 grand. You don't need to spend uh, 70 grand for this to get uh, a nice car. So that's that's my thoughts on that, right? 
But overall, Jello family, amazing car. I do recommend it if you have the money. Go ahead and buy it if you want like, a nice looking car, right? Um, you really see barely any Model S's around, especially the refresh ones, right? You see like the kind of older ones, uh, but the refresh Model S, you see like one or two every like month. Right, you see a lot of Model Threes everywhere just because they're so accessible. A lot of Model, Model Ys everywhere is the most popular car now, but Model S, you don't really see it. You see a lot of Model Xs too because people have families. So, but yeah, Jello family, I appreciate you guys. Thank you for watching the video. Please like, comment, subscribe. Please check out all my social media links below. Subscribe to my Instagram, TikTok, uh, YouTube channel, and then take a look at my affiliate links for the Amazon um, Tesla parts I have. And if you want to buy a Tesla, I have a referral for full self driving as well as supercharging miles. Just click on my link below. Use that link to purchase your car um, and you won't regret it. It's, it's definitely a fun car. It's made my life so much easier, especially if you drive a lot. Uh, I really do enjoy driving a Tesla. But Jell family, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Um, take a look at my new website called EV Forum Club where I post all my videos. I have um, a forum so you can ask questions about your Tesla and EV. Uh, we're growing that so fast. So I'll put the link down below. And Jello family, I hope you have an amazing day. I'll catch you guys later. Um, and then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like, comment, subscribe. Destroy that like button. Destroy that subscribe button. And I do have a channel membership if you guys want to be a subscriber or super subscriber. I look at all your comments. You will have access to early test videos. And you should get a cool badge in every comment. So Jello family, appreciate you guys. Have an amazing day. Peace.